And joining me today is the head coach of the Liberty University Western Riding Team, Madeline Schrode. Coach Maddie, thanks for joining me today. Yeah, absolutely. It's so good to see you. Well, I don't want to focus on the negative really too long, but I know your team had such a monumental season. Uh, you had put came in and put a lot of groundwork into your riders and just to see the growth from this past season was so exciting. And I know it's very disappointing to you as a coach to see your riders get it cut short. What were some of the emotions that you had and had gone through just as a coach looking back on the season, just seeing it so uh, end so abruptly? Yeah, so this, this season was kind of a roller coaster, <laughs> as I'm sure a lot of coaches have kind of talked about already. Um, you know, we went on and we had a great fall season. We came in and had an even stronger spring season. With the girls um, moving into postseason, you know, we may not have had the regionals that we wanted to, but we still got our girls pushed through. Um, and then became, you know, the roller coaster of emotions and confusion, and we don't know, and, you know, having the girls still come into practice and, you know, work hard um, right up until the point where things were canceled. Um, and so that was just crazy. Uh, the girls were such good sports about it. I mean, they came in and they were diligent in what they were doing. Um, and they just had, um, you know, no issues. They kind of just left everything in the arena, which was really, really cool to see. You know, when you push so hard to ride so well, um, and then you give everything that you have, knowing that there's nothing else to give, you know, it was really cool to see them be able to leave that in the arena and to walk into this next season hopeful. Um, and just to be able, you know, if this was their senior season, they were still able to, you know, um, conclude that in a good way, but still you know, be able to just, hey, that was it. That was that season. Now I get to move forward and walk into our next season, which is something we like to focus on with the girls is just training them, not only to be good athletes, but to be well-rounded, um, Christ-representing people. Well, I'm so glad to hear that your girls have had such a positive attitude towards this. I know it's extremely difficult, but it's so exciting to hear that. I don't want to focus on the negative too long, like I said. <laughs> one positive that I do want to talk about is one of your big goals was to be right with where St. Andrews was competing mm -hmm. and where your girls were. And right up at the end of the season, right before everything got canceled, you and I had spoken and uh, your girls had achieved that they were kind of neck and neck with St. Andrews right mm -hmm. at the end. Um, how was it seeing that and how was, how did the girls, uh, feel getting to achieve that goal right up until the cancellation of everything at the end? Yeah. So our, what was kind of the most exciting, I would say the highlight of the season was being able to beat St. Andrews at home and to just have them also celebrate with us. Um, and just kind of celebrating where this program has come from, um, both the Huntsy and the Western team. And just being able to step into that and allowing, you know, our girls to really celebrate that was, I think, so cool from another team. You know, big kudos to St. Andrews and what they do over there. They do a great job. Um, but just having that time that we could celebrate, like, hey, this was awesome. You know, we haven't done that, you know, in the past two years that I've been coaching. Um, and then being able to move and um, beat New North Carolina State. Um, and to push them out of that second place position by just a few points too <laughs> um, was really, really cool to see. Really cool to see our girls drive and then also have North Carolina State say, hey, good job too. The region that we're in is phenomenal. Um, there's so many good coaches, so many good players, um, and just really, really privileged to be in the region that we are in. Well, I know you just gave a little glimpse of it, but Coach Flagg and I were talking about the, just the great strides that Liberty Equestrian as a whole this year had accomplished. And one of the things that your team accomplished was hosting your first Western event here mm -hmm. in our own facility. And yeah. I know that was such a great big event for you guys. And I know your riders competed well, but they also hosted well and mm -hmm. maintained the, uh, I would say the adult level of like how you would handle <laughs> horse show. Um, yeah. Can I talk about that and just what that means for your program? Yeah. Um, stepping forward, you know, it means that we are able to now take on a little bit more. Uh, we have this under our belt, you know, now we can continuously take those strides forward. We can take on more. We're able to host. Um, now our team does fluctuate year to year. So that's, you know, a bit of a challenge as well. Um, but knowing that, hey, we did this, you know, first run, we got it done, <laughs> it was good, and um, Kimmy and Suzanne were so supportive and so wonderful, you know, we've hosted Hunt Seat shows before, and so being able to um, 
really kind of pick at their wisdom <laughs> and draw from that and just be able to step into just a great, you know, a great weekend for our program as a whole. Um, and, you know, making Liberty Equestrian a more well-rounded program as well. You know, we're not just one discipline focused. We're, you know, we're focused on the whole entire aspect of everything. Um, and so that was just really, really cool and very rewarding, I think, for our girls. You know, some of our seniors, they had never been able to host a home show uh, for Western. And so being able to give that to them and have it done well um, and for them to take pride in like, hey, this is our home turf. Um, and it was just a phenomenal experience for everybody. Well, finally for you, Coach Maddie, I definitely want to talk about what the riders are going to be doing for this upcoming season. Uh, I know it's kind of difficult to gauge, do, uh, do they take their horses home? Do they have the ability to practice and kind of hone in on some skills while they're at home? And mm -hmm. what are, if they can, what are some of the things that you have de specifically designated for them to kind of work on to prepare for this upcoming season? Yeah. Uh, some of the things that I've really encouraged them to work on is ride a bunch of different horses that you can. Um, only a select number of our girls on the team do have horses here that are boarded. And so a lot of our girls are going home to no horses. And so, you know, trying to get them in contact with the right people, allowing them to really um, hone in on their ability to ride different horses, I think is the biggest challenge in any of this. Um, and so really encouraging them in that and encouraging them to also pursue um, other things this summer too. You know, if we are really pushing to have well-rounded athletes, you know, we need to encourage them to, yes, go do your internships. You know, that means just as much as, you know, riding does, um, and especially for those who are moving into their senior year. Um, and so that's something that we've really encouraged all of our girls to do, and um, just really pushing them and having them pursue what they need to pursue outside of this. Um, but yeah, just ride as many horses as you can, you know, and then come back ready to work. The two biggest things that I've been telling them. Well, Coach Maddie, it's definitely been great catching up with you. We hope that you and your family have been staying safe throughout this uh, very interesting time in our country right now. But it was so great catching up with you and hearing about all the different things that happen right here at the end of the season. And we definitely can't wait to see you, but also we can't wait to see the stride that you have for this upcoming season. Yeah, thank you.